And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has said that in order to redress this flaw that has not only been purposefully put into you, because the Prophet said, had you not disobeyed, I would have feared something worse than disobedience, which is what? Vanity, ujub, that you start thinking yourselves to be wonderful. And whose crime is that? It's the crime of Iblis. It's why he was not made the Khilafah in the earth according to our tradition. Iblis worshipped Allah. There's a tradition that said that there was no place on earth he didn't make sajda. But every sajda he did increased him in his sense of superiority. Instead of creating, engendering humility in his soul, it actually resulted in pride. And so when he was asked to bow down to Adam السلام, he said, what has stopped you from prostrating to Adam? Because Allah said to prostrate. He commanded them to prostrate. illa Iblis. All of them prostrated except Iblis. Abba was stuck up. He had arrogance. He refused out of arrogance. So Allah asked him, not as if Allah needed to know, but in order to reveal something to Iblis, for himself. He didn't say, Ana ma lahu mutakabbir. I didn't pray because I'm arrogant. He didn't say that. He said, Ana minhu. I'm better than him. I'm created from fire and air. He's created from water and, and earth. And my elements, fire and air, are gaseous. In other words, they move up by their nature. Fire and air move up. Earth and water move down. So he looked at it in the eye of the outward, in the material world. He said, mine are more subtle. They're ethereal. They're not low elements. They're high elements. And he believed that that made him superior. And this in a sense is the first act of racism. Because if you ask somebody, why are you better than an Iraqi or a Pakistani? Because I'm white, because I'm Anglo-Saxon, because I'm this or that. Well, why are you better than him? Because I'm a Punjabi and he's a Balushi. Why are you better than him? Because I'm a Qureshi and he's a Tamimi. Why are you better than him? I'm an American and he's some other nationality. These are sicknesses in the heart. And this is the disease of Iblis, is to see yourself as better than others. And this is why the Prophet ﷺ said, I was commanded to humble myself until no one showed arrogance over any other person. Because if anyone had a right to feel superior to anyone else, it would be me because of Stafani Allah. I was chosen by God. But I refuse that. Adam will the Adam I am the master of the children of Adam, and I have no pride in declaring that to you. Not only because he was showing his humility and giving us a law, he's giving us a legal ruling that we need to know as Muslims. This is a legal ruling. Who is the greatest of creation? Is a legal ruling to understand a hierarchy. But he was also letting us know, and this is what's called mafhum al mukhalafa Where then is your pride? It's not in his mastery over the children of Adam, it's in his ubudiyya to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's in that he is the realized servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, tahaqqa fihi. Subhanalladhi asra bi abdihi maqar bi rasulihi. Glory be to the one who has taken his abd on this night journey. Glory be to the one who has taken his abd on the... Why did Allah give him that name? Why didn't he say, Subhana ladhi asra bi rasulihi? Because this was not in his relationship between 
creation. It was in his relationship between the Creator and himself. His relationship between himself and Allah is a relationship of ubudiyah. His relationship between his, the creation of Allah is his relationship as a messenger. And so he is the Rasulullah as an intermediary between Allah and creation. But he is Abdullah as an intermediary between Allah and his creation. محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن عجم محمد سيد الكونين والثقلين والفريقين من عرب ومن